Okay, in my perpetual attempt to try and find positives in negatives, okay, to try and search for things that might be out there uh, on the internet providing some kind of point of view or whatever that's slightly uh, inappropriate, left field or wrong or whatever, and seeing where the good stuff is, I went back to, that's right, um, the the original uh, and greatest um, internet celebrity in terms of the world of the weird, conspiratorial, and um, generally, oh my god, we're all going to die. Now, you remember from uh, a few years ago, there was a bit of history I've had with the Alex Jones channel because, um, you know, way, way back in the day, I was still paying off my debts. Um, I had to do my online work, you know. Um, for a very long period of time. I had to stay awake for days and days on end at times, uh, eating very low nutritional value food so that you know I could afford to pay off my debts. And I made myself, I mean, if this friend of mine told me, you know, just go online and research the New World Order, yeah, you know, and I was doing, oh, what the hell, you know, I finally got my good cable broadband set up. I could finally watch YouTube, yes, without it sort of like uh, freezing off the first second of the video, you know what I mean? So that's what, you know, that's what I did. I went on and I just like watched Alex Jones. Now, one thing that's amazing about Alex Jones uh, and his channel is that he's popping out tons of videos all the time every day. Four days ago, four days ago, four days ago, four days ago. I mean, the volume of information, four days ago, four days ago, four days ago, that, that's, that's out there is intense. So, you know, it's very easy for you to, um, you know, just get yourself immersed and just have a perpetual uh, intense feed of ideas to your mind. Um, based upon the ideology and uh, point of view of, of anyone who's perpetually keeping their argument the same, keeping their performance the same, putting out tons and tons and tons of videos. Even I might try and do that, but not with this kind of argument. Yeah, I actually watched that one. It, you know, the title of the video is hilarious. Okay, Cyborgs, Brain Scan, ID Technology, and State Line. So basically you're saying that you can't drive your car or in the future you won't be able to drive your car unless your computer scanned your brain to make sure it's you. Um, then maybe it'll happen, but maybe that could even be a good thing, you know, it's whatever, whatever, whatever. Anyway, let me just try and get back on track. I mean, the other experiment is, of course, finding out, you know, precisely what happens when you mix, you know, vast quantities of caffeine in any form whatsoever with the vast quantities of nicotine in um, electronic cigarette format and blend them together in the scientific, like, um, laboratory of my brain and seeing what comes out. It's, you know, tons of the mouth stops, doesn't stop moving, you know, it's great. Okay, back on track, back on track, back on track. Come on, calm down, calm down, Nick. Remember to breathe, yes. Okay, now, what is good in everything about the conspiracy theory movements? All right, is there anything? I mean, yeah, there's lots of negatives out there. I mean, there's um, there's the politics he supports, which is, or which Alex Jones supports, which appears to be uh, far to the right of center. He appears to be supporting like the white nationalists, the uh, the Christian right. He's providing support for anyone who even vaguely hates the government or is afraid of the corporations. Now everyone's afraid of the corporations. We all know that companies such as uh, Nestle are doing bad things because they're like, you know, giving the uh, the breast milk, the, the uh, milk formula for babies into third world countries where they've got bad water, so the babies will die because of having bad water or it turns to be the the mother's breast milk will like dry up because she's giving the formula to the kids and then of course the kid has some bad water so the, you know the mother cannot provide milk anymore uh, the baby therefore has to have more and more formula which means more money going out of the you know the poor people in the third world and there's disease issues and all sorts of yeah 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 corporations are fucking evil we can we all know this we can all say that and it's good, it's actually a good thing, all right, for people like Alex Jones to be giving people a bit of uh, skepticism and criticism. Because if you look at a company's website, all you're going to see is their PR. And their PR is going to turn around to you and say, hey, we're wonderful. 
We're sweet, we're soft and fluffy. This is what we really think. Yes, it is. This is wonderful. This is good. We are good. And basically, is that necessarily the whole argument? No. I mean, um, another great YouTube user who might even be watching this right now, I don't know. You know, he points out that when he's looking at, let's say, an unpleasant group's uh, website, and the unpleasant group says, hey, we're all nice, soft and fluffy, for you to, to believe that the entire group is warm, soft and fluffy because the website says so is circular re reasoning. Rather like when you read the Bible and the Bible says the Bible is the world of God and therefore it must be because the Bible says so that's circular reasoning okay so essentially we can all fall into that trap of believing what people say about themselves or what companies say about themselves or corporations say about themselves or governments say about themselves all right so it's good to have something that provides you with a feeling of doubt so the first tremendous positive diddly diddly dee of even Alex Jones okay is the giving of a certain level of self-doubt. Alright? I think that's probably the most important thing. Self-doubt when it comes to searching for information and points of view. And of course, as you delve deeper and deeper and deeper into what Alex Jones is broadcasting, maybe you'll come across problems with him and his argument as well and all the rest of that, which uh, of course might happen. Doesn't mean to say the world is not a scary place with scary things happening in it. Um, but, you know, sh I mean, check that one out. Truth versus the official story. Official in quote marks. I like that. That's, that just says it all. You know, I mean, that's the kind of thing which is makes you sort of like doubt everything. It was designed to make you doubt everything. That's that's Alex Jones turning around to you and saying, I am telling the truth. When he was talking previously on previous videos, he was talking about Blue Beam, which doesn't actually exist. Uh, and it's coming out with ideas that, you know, we were going to have this massive holographic light show in the sky that was going to try and convince us that there was some kind of alien takeover of the planet so that we would all then, uh, you know, sort of uh, bow down and worship the New World Order or whatever, you know. And also the, the strange ideas like the people in Bohemian Grove were sacrificing humans to um, an idol of an owl, which is, of course, factually inaccurate. It was the... the was the cremation of care, which is like uh, an upper middle class person's way of, of um, you know going over the top in a party kind of sense and saying like just for a week or two we're just gonna like let our cares go. We're just gonna play around like a bunch of adolescents um, or first year undergraduates and just get drunk and be stupid. So it, it was not human sacrifice, but of course this guy would turn around to you and say, yes, man, it is. It's, yeah, they really are. You know, they're, they're you know, baby-eating Satanist bastards, and they're, they're all fucking dangerous, like satanic evil. No, 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 no. And it is, you know, a bit of a, a motivation that the conspiracy theory movement can do for you to actually look into how the world actually works and to look at different people's points of view and to try and work out what a school of thought, which one particular, um, I don't know, YouTube user, website, blog or form of media is telling you, you know, trying to work out what their ideology is, what their ideas are, as opposed to what is actually factually accurate. So it does prompt you to uh, do some research and to try and get some kind of intellectual, um, creative, basic background understanding of how the world works, not through listening to this guy, okay, but through using, I don't know, your fear, your paranoia, your anxiety, or whatever, just to stimulate you to try and find more stuff out. For instance, uh, when I was going through my dark, distant, paranoid, you know, mal malnourished, state and I ended up watching Alex Jones every day, you know, and um, going steadily insane, uh, you know, I, I had to find a way out of it. And that's what prompted me to look into all the videos about logical fallacies and what it means to have an argument and so on and so forth. So I actually have to be personally thankful to this, you know, this individual here and all of his, um, in inverted commas, alternative media, <laughs> uh, because that actually stimulated me to actually give myself a better quality of education than I actually had when I went to school in university. All right, so it was actually, um, you know, a good thing for me to have spent that time looking into various forms of negatives. Oh, God, factual inaccuracy, weak, here we go. Study shows planet plunging into global cooling. Yeah, right. I was, I actually decided to be a real masochist and watch an Alex Jones video earlier on, and he was saying, no, 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 the, the scientists have come out and saying that the ice cap is bigger than it's ever been, and, you know, there's, you know, 
the polar bears are breeding in their frightened center and is their numbers are up fivefold. Yay! Oh God! I mean, factual inaccuracy. I mean, he was going on about you know the the sun was the cause for global warming. Okay, just the sun, not like a carbon dioxide layer and all that kind of stuff, and and the fact that we humans are pumping out loads and loads of shit out of our car exhausts and out of our factory chimneys and uh, power stations and all the rest of that. No, it was it was just the sun, just the sun. It wasn't that. No, 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 no. I mean, carbon taxes are evil. It's it, it's the world. It, it's the government trying to control the world. It's the Illuminati new world. Order reptilian Zionist, um, whatever. Oh, whatever. Um, good God, good God, good God. I mean, sh I mean, good God. I mean, the, the quantity of stuff he gets out. I mean, one thing that's really scary, okay, it's the number of video views he gets. I mean, 42,564. Uh, puts another one out possibly on the same day. 38,425. Another one at 30, 35,332. Um, you know, so he's he's got an audience, man. He's got a big, big alternative media audience. So these are people who are either being critical of him, watching his stuff because it's entertainment and it's a bit like watching Star Trek, um, and therefore, you know, he's just, you know, just sci-fi, really, you know. But then there's other people who are watching that, just like I was when I was really, really sickly, uh, you know, just and taking this stuff on, oh my god, you must be right, you know, I mean, it's just like the, the Fox News mentality, you know, just like, oh, oh god, some fat Texan person is screaming, and therefore it must be true, you know, I mean, ah, so, you know, it's a, not good, okay, the other thing which is good about, um, the conspiracy theory movements, I think it does, um, try and teach you slowly how to look after yourself, uh, I did find out about the preparedness movements as a result of watching um, the Alex Jones channel. Uh, I thought it was rather interesting. Obviously, I take a very British attitude to these things, and I don't worry about global economic decline. Um, but it did prompt me to do things like buy a first aid kit for, you know, just in case I get injured. And then, hey, presto, I got myself a new food blender, and I got, uh, you know, I cut myself on the blade. But fortunately, I had the first aid kit so I could bandage myself up. So, you know, there, there is positives there, but, it, but I think that... The effort that this guy puts into his media uh, is more to set you off being prepared and more to set you towards being afraid. And this, remember, this is a business. I mean, I mean, all YouTube blogs which have adverts in them are businesses. Even mine is a business, okay? So I want people to watch, therefore I'm going to try and be a good performer. I'm going to try and entertain you. I'm going to try and make you smile. There's people who think the way that I do who watch this is people who don't think the way that I do who watch this and I try and be liberal and free for everyone and all that kind of like fun stuff and try, try and provide a wide variety of different sources of, of uh, entertainment or infotainment uh, to, to, to keep people watching. I admit that, okay? This guy doesn't seem to admit that. What he does is to say that, you know, I'm your savior. <laughs> I am your guiding light, yes. Um, and, you know, which I personally disagree with. That would be my personal point of view. Maybe that's just because of culture. I don't come from certain parts of the USA and I don't, so, you know, I have his point of view. I don't have any objection to Americans. I do have objection to some of the culture which is within America, which is stimulated by the thinking of certain individuals. Uh, you know... I mean, it's, this is crazy, crazy. Uh, now, these days, and I think that if anyone out there is starting to watch Alex Jones, which I'm not really going to do, apart from when I want to be really masochistical, is you might find him focusing a little bit more on things which are actually happening. Because I, don't, I think he's probably going to need to use the Illuminati conspiracy less and to actually use real facts that's happening in the world and to blow them up a bit too much in order to try and maintain his um, client base, basically. Uh, and there's uh, and there's enough real stuff happening in the world that's um, scary as hell. Uh, I mean, there, there is a genuine potential for a real World War Three. I mean, I, I personally am of that opinion, but I don't think that's because Obama is some kind of Nazi um, illuminist scum who eats babies in Bohemian Grove and sacrifices virgins to build a barbell. I don't know what I don't know what he's saying about Obama these days. I don't care what he's saying about Obama these days. Uh, so, you know, this is what I think you're probably going to see for those of you who are into that sort of stuff rather than necessarily, you know, anything else. I mean, you know, 
I would play some of his stuff for you, but I'd like you to be able to sleep well tonight. So just to sum up, all right, the concerns that the Alex Jones channel and similar conspiracy websites and all the rest of it can provide you with uh, can actually help you in some respects. It makes you want to find out more about the world. It makes you want to find out what is a good argument as opposed to a bad argument. And it can make you want to find new ways of looking after yourself in a bigger and better way. That is my point of view. However, the, the negatives, which would be more than the positives, okay, uh, can be quite extreme. And it can brainwash you slowly and surely to make you think in terms of certain forms of um, extremist, militia, you know, Bible Belt, like weird fuckwits, rather than necessarily thinking like an intelligent, well-developed, um, rational individual who can think things through. All right. Some video blogs are there to make you feel things. Some are there to make you think things. Some are there to, to help you. And some of them are a wide variety of things in between. And others just show you cute pictures of kittens. All right. So the world is just full of opinions. It's not full of truth. You know, there's truth. You know, truth is a plural. Okay. It's not a one singular truth. I want to find out the truth. No, you want to find out a truth if you're watching Alex Jones and that's his truth. Okay, you want to find out another person's truth if you watch their stuff. You want to find out my truth, you watch my stuff. But it's only my truth or his truth or their truth or whatever's truth, not the hard and fast, you know, concrete facts. Okay, that's why I want to try and steer people away from uh, thinking in that kind of like, oh, that's that's the man who's in charge of it. That's the man who's like the real pundit. He knows everything. He's got the old experience, all the wisdom, all the rest of it. Therefore, I must listen to him. Yes, 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 yes. <gasps> oh, baby. No, 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 no. What you got to do is to learn um, critical thoughts and to apply critical thoughts to every form of media you come across, including me. All right. You know, because that's a good thing. And also, some of the critics I've had have been very useful for me in my own personal development, so I don't object to criticism. Ad hominem attacks, that's a different thing. But, you know, genuine, like, can we think about this kind of like criticism, that's a good thing. So, again, just to quickly sum up, yes, even the incredibly popular and rather dubious, scary um, Mr. Alex Jones um, has some benefits going for him. Okay, sleep tight. <laughs>